The Yachts for Sale YouTube channel has never been afraid to ask the difficult questions. Should I buy or charter a yacht? Should I buy a new or a pre-owned yacht? And which is the best yacht for under $2 million? Today though we look at the question of where is the best place to keep my yacht and consider four of the finest marinas on planet Earth. Our first port of call is also the furthest east on the beautiful island of Cyprus. Here lies a stunning port called Limassol Marina. Located on the south coast of the island, this is a wonderful vantage point to enjoy the Cypriot coastline. Many yachts in fact enjoy a summer cruise of the Greek islands before moving on to the gorgeous coast of southern Turkey and then ending in Cyprus. Marinas these days need to offer far more than just a safe haven from a storm, and Limassol Marina does seem to have it all, including a luxury spa and fitness center, a great selection of shops, restaurants and bars, and a choice of real estate properties, including apartments and villas. With 650 berths for yachts of up to 110 meters in length, it really is a very modern marina, in a very historic town. Offering high-speed internet, 24-hour security, waste water discharge. I haven't visited this marina just yet, but many of my friends skip a yachts that do regularly use this marina and they rave about what a great place it is to keep your yacht. And moving slowly westward, the next port that I can personally recommend is the wonderful Porto Montenegro. If you watched my walkthrough video of the 55 meter fed ship Illusion, you'll know that that particular video was set in and around the port. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you do as soon as this one has finished. The staff of Porto Montenegro just couldn't have been more friendly and cooperative when I filmed there, which is a great indication of the kind of reception that yacht owners can enjoy. This place too is far more than just a marina, and Porto Montenegro has some wonderful restaurants and bars, shops, real estate, a hotel, a yacht club, and when you add to that that it's right on the doorstep of some of the most sensational cruising ground on the planet, it only remains for me to say that if you're watching this video, own a yacht and have never been to Porto Montenegro, then you owe it to yourself to do so at the earliest opportunity. This particular marina has 400 berths, including the world's largest berth that can accommodate a 250 meter long giga yacht. Now for our most westerly marina, the wonderful Port Vell in Barcelona. This marina was built in 1991, ahead of the 1992 Olympics, and it really is a jewel in Spain's crown. I have to admit at this point that I am very much in love with Barcelona, mainly because the search for great restaurants is a passion of mine, and in Barcelona you can't move without finding another spot that is irresistible to try out for food and drink. One Ocean Port Vell is such a wonderful spot to explore the city from, offering 150 berths of up to 190 meters in length. It also offers all of the most modern possible amenities, along with 24-hour gated security, concierge services, the wonderful One Ocean Club restaurant and bar. But to be honest, if you stay there with your yachts, you'll undoubtedly spend much of your time in the incredible city of Barcelona. There are 24 
Michelin starred restaurants there. And those that don't have the Michelin star all seem to take a huge pride in their amazing cuisine and service. Forget about yachts for a moment. If you're watching this video from outside of Europe and you're planning on a trip to Europe, you absolutely have to include Barcelona in your plans. And the last marina in this list is far from being the least. As a matter of fact, Monaco really is two marinas. Port Hercule being the better known one in the centre of Monte Carlo and Fontvieille to the west of the Principality. Visiting Monaco by yacht is an experience that almost all yacht owners aspire to, whether it be during the yearly Formula One Grand Prix or in other more quiet periods of the year. Monaco just exudes luxury and glamour, and the company that manages both Port Hercule and Fontvieille knows a thing or two about how to look after their guests. Almost all of the berths here are owned by the Principality and so are available only for rental. And actually the prices are not as expensive as you may think when compared to other marinas in the area. If you are taking your yacht to Monaco, you can contact them for a reservation through their website on screen now. Or if you're traveling around the Riviera and you need a good agent to help you find a berth, then just let me know. I have some great connections with agents and we'd be happy to pass them on to you. Now you may be asking yourself the question as to why there's no American marinas in this vlog and why it's called the four greatest marinas and not the five greatest. Well, the truth is that whilst the med-based marinas all answered my emails to them within 20 minutes with great and useful information, I still haven't heard back from any of the American marinas. So shame on you, American marinas, and well done med-based marinas for showing great customer service, even with my modest request. As you will have noticed, I'm filming this vlog today from Monaco, from the Northrop & Johnson offices. But the main reason I'm here is because I shall also be filming on behalf of Ports de Monaco about a really exciting marina development that they have that's going to be open at the end of this year. It's very different from the marina in Monaco, but equally as impressive. So make sure that you don't miss out on that video when it's published by subscribing to my channel.